Hello everyone. So I just uh, did a webinar on uh, ITSM and uh, although uh, I did explain it in the webinar but I thought I'll probably make a separate video on this topic because many people actually want to search for things and, and when you have like a, a short video on a specific topic then it really helps. Now if you are on cloud, if you're on Jira cloud or if you try to create a new project called Jira service management based project on Jira cloud then uh, it will actually come with a lot of different uh, handy, easy to use features. But one such feature is basically this uh, change calendar. Now, if you're working on, uh, let us say, changes that you may want to do, then you, of course, want to say somewhere on the ticket itself, like your change ticket type, that when you want to do these changes. For example, if I create a new change and by the way usually you won't really create a change straight away you will be creating an incident i mean your customers will raise an incident then you will probably create a problem out of it and then you will raise a change or anyways whenever you're trying to uh, raise a new change you can uh, basically specify of course let me just do it very quickly so let us say a change is that we have to upgrade uh, uh, os version right and apply patch so this is your change you can just uh, you know raise it very quickly now if you want you can also link it to a service which is of course going to do some wonderful things in obstiny and change type and uh, maybe the impact or urgency whatever and at the same time you do have the option to select here date so this is something that i want to talk about i'll probably not fill up the dates here because when you are trying to upgrade your database version or whatever version you want to know or you want to let other, others know that when you're doing these changes. And by the way, this is, this is again something which I never really saw before. You can also, you know, when you're raising these uh, tickets, you can also uh, create another... Uh, basically, you can... Uh, not another, but you can uh, basically collapse it, like minimize it, and then you have the option to... Uh, maybe keep on editing it so it will bring it back but i don't really think it will uh, save a draft so basically it is a draft but i don't really think you can have a multiple so let me just try to do it one more time no it will basically take you back to the same uh, uh, issue okay anyways so this is something that i noticed i think there are some new features added being added to the jira cloud okay let me just create this change and uh, when you create a new change in your project, let me just try to find it. Where are you change? Come on. Is it, is it this one? No, this is not the one. Okay, I'll, I'll just go back to... Come on, where is my project? Okay, I think I lost it. Okay, let me just go to the ITSM demo. And uh, the change that I wanted to work on is upgrade this one. Okay, so this... Uh, of course, you have the option to select here dates. But you can also do one thing. You can also... Uh, click on this uh, calendar icon on top. So this will actually let you uh, specify the window, like when you want to uh, do the changes. And this is actually going to um, update, of course, these fields. And by the way, if you, are, if you think this calendar icon is missing, make sure that there is uh, a request change uh, here. Like this issue type, should be mapped to a request type as well. Otherwise, I don't really think this will appear based on what I noticed. And uh, good thing about this calendar view is that you can also go back to your uh, uh, Jira sidebar and uh, you can see here these uh, options that are basically from your uh, ops genie. But let me focus on change calendar. And uh, let me just you know, show you the entire month or maybe... Um, no, let me just take a look at the 15th of or basically next week. So you can see here that these uh, changes or upcoming changes will appear. And because uh, these are nothing but issues with issue, with fields filled in, you can, of course, report on it. So the thing is that we were doing these things anyways using our own custom fields. But now we have uh, uh, this, I guess, inbuilt. Basically, using these features, you will be able to use... Uh, Jira service management based projects for change man management as well out of the box like a bit more e in a bit more easier way and that is it I thought I'll probably show it to you because it is useful and that is it all right bye bye I hope you found this video useful and you learned something new thank you bye bye